Welcome to Advan Black's YouTube channel. I'm Steve, the service technician, and today I'm going to show you a brand new product that Advan Black has come out with, and it is the Riders Adjustable Backrest. This Riders Adjustable Backrest is going to be available for the 2009 to 2020 Touring models. Today I'm going to show you how to get this stuff installed so you can have a little bit more comfort on your back on those long hauls. Now, a couple of things to mention that you need to look for before you make your order. Make sure that your seat has the slot in it right here between the rider and the passenger right here this is where the backrest is going to go in if you have a one piece seat that doesn't have that slot you will not be able to put this on if you have a single seat with a passenger pillion more than likely i don't think i've ever seen any on the market like that that have that slot or an area to put a rider's backrest in so one important note on this is this is designed for the oem fender the oem rear fenders where it mounts it's a little bit more square than a lot of the aftermarket ones say our dominator fender from Advan black it's a little bit more rounded so those plates that come off the side of it where it mounts to the fender they are bent in angle to the oem fender which is a little bit more square on top so if you have an aftermarket fender like the dominator from Advan black that curve is not going to fit perfectly you can take that bracket put it in a vise and give it just a little bit of bend on both sides that is really thick steel you're not going to mess that thing up but if you're absolutely dead set on mounting this to an aftermarket fender you will have to do that you have to match the curve of the fender the best you can to get the bolts to come up through there and tighten it down pretty easy to do if you have a vise or something you can put it in and give it a little bend everything that you're going to need to get this installed is going to come included with the backrest so let's get over here and get this thing installed so the very first thing we're going to do is obviously take off the seat another thing you're also going to have to have is this plate right here this is for a passenger pillion all the bikes come oem with this already installed it's a metal plate that goes underneath the fender it's curved to the fender it's got two bolts welded to it that poke up through the fender and these little plastic clips half of this bracket is going to mount here the other half of the bracket is going to mount in these two holes right here right behind your battery tray the easiest way to put nuts on the bottom of this is go ahead and remove the top of your battery tray and get your ecm out of the way so you can get your hands in there you've got a bolt here and a bolt here now to save some time i've already loosened these bolts we're going to take these two out now this is a 2014 this is your ecm some of the newer models have the ecm configured in a different way but it still comes out the same way you've got tabs on both sides you're going to lift up that ecm and pull that out of the way i like to just take a towel put it over here on the side and set it on here so you're not scratching your side cover once we get that out of the way you got your battery tray right here over here on this side, you'll have the gray plug that goes up to your fuel tank. You're gonna pop that off. The black plug that goes back to your tail lights, you're gonna pop that off. The top of your battery tray lifts up in the rear. You wanna make sure you're not pulling on any wires. You're gonna push the battery tray forward towards the front of the bike and then lift up the front. And that cover will come out just like that. This piece here is what you're pushing forward and then up. Now you've got a little bit more room to get your hands in here to get those two nuts on the bottom. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my brake harness because I've got some other stuff on this bike and it's just gonna be getting in the way. So I'm gonna unplug that and move that out of the way. You're gonna have this adjustable bracket in the front. If you leave this bolt and this nut loose, you can move this up and down like this. These two holes here are what's gonna mount here. So you're going to set that on over those holes so now we have these bolts in but we're going to keep them loose so we can move this around this part down here is loose as well so we're just going to line up this bracket with the holes in the frame there and just go ahead and get this hand started we're going to slip our 10 millimeter in here and go ahead and get these tightened down And once we get that snug down, we can come back up here. Make sure this is straight. We'll get these two snug down. Just like that. We're gonna sneak our tin into the back side, get it on this nut here. I'm 
and get that tightened down. This lever, this lever is what's going to control the backrest movement with a cable. From the bottom side of the lever, you'll see a hole like that. You're gonna take that and go in that. So you can see this cable works just like a normal cable. It goes in and out. So we're gonna grab the barrel end, put our finger on the end of it, and keep this pushed out, the ball end. We're gonna go in from the bottom side through that hole. On this side, we're gonna pop it through the lever, just like that. You can see it's popped through the lever. Bring it over to the hole. We're gonna take this side and this little notch right here, we'll slide it up through there, push it over till it grabs. Once we do that, we can pull the slack out of the other side and now that's installed. You're gonna have a nut clip in your hardware just like this. It's gonna have a nut on one side, hole on the other. If you look up in here, you're probably gonna to have to disconnect one of your spark plug wires. It's gonna have a little cable clip right there. You're gonna to have to move that out of the way to get to this hole. You're gonna stick the hole side on the outside. The nut side will be on the inside. Up in here, you see that hole. We're gonna slide that nut clip over that and line it up with the hole. It's gonna be hard for me to get the camera in there and do all that where you can see it. And once you get that mounted, you can either run it right here in between your side cover and your frame, up here, back around the back side and into this, or you can run it through the hole in the frame, which will back this cable out. We'll pull this through. The hole in the frame will come up through the battery compartment. And I've left this loose so I can get in there and adjust it. Just like that. And come up here to the inside back around the back side and then over here now on this side with the cable running through the middle of the bracket on the barrel side we're going to pull our slack out and run it down past put the barrel in the wire now i've got big fingers but you need to turn that barrel turn the cable until the barrel is just like that and then you'll pull this up. I just use a pair of needle nose. I'll go ahead and squeeze this till it's up. What we're doing is pulling this lever up to here so I can put this on here. Once it's pulled up, you can slide that over into place like that. So we have this extra cable here. We can pull this down. You just wanna make sure it's not pinched, but you can pull it down, zip tie it off, wherever you need to zip tie it off, but it has to be smooth, can't have any kinks or bends in it. Now that we have that, we can grab this and pull this, and you'll see that it's pulling this here. Now on the backrest itself, you'll see a pull knob here that you can pull it spring-loaded that can lift this up and down these several notches here. Also, there's a notch in the bottom here. That's what's going to catch here. You've got a spring-loaded lever on this, so you're going to open it up, slide it in and lock it in now you can adjust this up and down wherever you want it now the lever itself will control the piston which will lock into place wherever you want to keep it all this lever down here does is release it this doesn't actually move the backrest so this just releases it right here releases that piston now we can push this back and say we want it right there we just let go of the lever and it stays right there and it's easier to do if you're sitting on the bike of course because you can use your back to push back on it now i'm just doing it with my hand but you can see if i push it all the way down it stays there now if i lift this lever it's going to spring forward automatically see so now that we have all of that done we can go ahead and put our battery tray and all that stuff back on now once we get our seat back into place like this you can see that our slit and our seat is now lined up with the backrest. We can go ahead and push that lever down, slide this in, lock it into place, and it's installed. Pull the lever up, push it back, stays where you want it. Go ahead and let it go. It's all the way up. So that's pretty much it. Pretty easy to do on the Admin Black Riders adjustable backrest. You're gonna like this one a lot better than those ones that just stick in there and you can't really move them. They have a little bit of up and down and a little bit of spring to them, but this one is much more comfortable because you can actually put it 
for exactly where you need it. So that's pretty much it on the Advan Black Riders Adjustable Backrest. So if you want to get your hands on one of these, I'll put the link down in the description down below. It'll take you straight over to the website. I hope this video helped you. So I'm going to get out of here and get myself back to work. I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, as always, be safe. Keep your knees in the breeze.